Hey everyone, welcome to another Hot Take. My name is Tony D, and today's Hot Take is about Jeffrey Epstein. This guy is back! Ah! Uh, latest news is uh, celebrity uh, pathologist or Quincy came out and said, Hey, I think Epstein probably got murdered, which we all pretty much assume, right? Uh, I certainly believe he was murdered. But I do have a couple of uh, theories on, on, first, the potential scenario if he was not. I think there's a small chance he was not murdered. And I think the scenario goes like this. Epstein trying to kill himself once was unsuccessful. It, it's really hard to kill yourself in this prison system. Uh, it's basically designed not to kill you. You know, not to, to make sure you don't kill yourself. And uh, he tried that once. Um, he, my theory, and, and again, this is, this is a totally outlier theory. I don't believe this is the likely case. I believe there's a very tiny chance of this. But I think he may have paid someone to kill him. Because he tried to kill himself and was unsuccessful. The other reason I think it may be slightly possible is he was really up and happy uh, according to his lawyers, that he thought he had a good chance to get off. Now, typically, when someone decides to kill themselves, they actually, there's a sense of relief, and they, they become more relaxed, and they become more happy for a short time, right before they do it. So, I think it's possible. I don't think it's very probable, but I think it is possible that Epstein actually paid everybody off and said, you know, just kill me. Um, maybe in a final revenge to F all the people who were out to kill him or out to get him because now they'll continue to investigate more. Who knows? The, my other thought on Epstein is this, that it's a lot darker than just a guy who, uh, believe it or not, I mean, you don't get much darker than a guy who basically had sex with kids. Um, you know, he, 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 he was... Uh, convicted uh, sex offender, I believe, and uh, he was facing more charges. He, he had set this up. He had uh, uh, there were there was evidence he had moved and, and trafficked, and, you know, uh, basically children. I mean, they were older children, but children nonetheless. I think it goes darker. I think it's even darker than that. I think this guy, very early on, decided or stumbled into. A blackmail scheme right and he realized that um, you know if he had videotape of people interacting with these uh, kids that they would basically have to give him any amount of money he wanted for his investment thing oh here's little Joan little Joan hello um, so I think Epstein from the very early on, uh, because guys like him, they don't stop and, you know, they don't just start up one day and keep, you know, and do it once in a while. They can't stop. So I think it was probably something that was most of his career, um, you know, setting people up. And, and later it probably got a lot easier because there was certain val a certain validation because of the, his vast wealth. Because he had so much money, other millionaires would hang out with him and billionaires, right? And it was assumed they had the same problems that he did that, oh, he's vulnerable too because he's a very high profile person. You know, he wouldn't do anything untoward or weird or whatever. Meanwhile, he's videotaping you constantly and his servants are these girls. And I think for some of these guys... Um, I, I think some of these guys are very soft, right? Some of these millionaires are, you know, third, fourth, fifth generation millionaires. Like I saw the um, documentary by one of the DuPont kids and they talk, he talked about what it was like living that life. And, you know, they only hang out with other millionaire family types because you, there's, it's really weird if you don't. And uh, they go to crazy places and they spend tons of money. And that's their life. That's their lifestyle. And, you know, I'm not saying, oh, boo-hoo for them, but there's a certain trust in that world because other millionaires hang out with other millionaires. And, but these guys, since they're third, fourth, fifth generation millionaires, 
they're kind of soft because they don't they didn't really come up and make millionaires of themselves so they're they've been insulated from the world and you know the kid's father's in it and he's a painter and you know he, he kind of doesn't really have a job right he just kind of signs papers and just lives the life of a rich guy uh, someone who's lived that all their life nominally will be pretty soft you know and uh, uh, they would be incredibly vulnerable if they got into Epstein's circle for a few moments and you know next thing you know they're getting a massage by a woman or they think is a woman but it's really a teenage girl right so it's it's a young it's a young he they just think well it's a young looking woman she's probably 20 21 23 whatever then it turns out oh no she's 16 she's just wearing makeup or she looks a little older or whatever now now they're in kind of trouble right uh, or you know maybe they just think they're in trouble because it's like again they're kind of soft and they're kind of easily intimidated and god forbid they had sex with the girl epstein gets that on tape and they're done i mean they they either pay him or oof you know and they would rather pay and just make the problem go away right i mean if they're millionaires you know epstein what's 500 what's 500k to a guy who's got a billion dollars just you know it's go away money and uh you know and Epstein claims to be an investment banker, right? And even if he loses the money and just keeps it, you could just write it off on your taxes. So it's a win-win. You don't get embarrassed, and there you go. And then for some of these people, they're just like Epstein. They have the same predilections. And apparently, Prince Andrew does. Apparently. I mean, there's lots of pictures of him. Seem, seem to be awfully into the whole scene with Epstein, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It might have been that he was just, he just liked Epstein. He's another rich guy with nothing to do. He may have gotten sucked in, you know, may have gotten blackmailed or whatever, or he may have just been naive enough to go, oh, well, I'm sure these guys, girls are of age, you know? So who knows? But I think from the get go, Epstein was all about blackmailing people. I think he probably had video cameras in every plane, every house, every, everywhere. I think there was probably all over that island. Um, I just watched an interesting video by We Are Change, and they actually got on the island and ran around for about a half hour before they were chased off. And there were all these weird little statues everywhere. I bet there's cameras in them. I bet there is. Because Epstein, I mean, all he needs is... Just enough footage of some millionaire cavorting with a young girl, and he's got it. And, and I think that's what he did. And that was his full-time gig. Like, everything else was just for show. It was all about getting that, you know, uh, incriminating footage. And then, uh, once you had it, you had him by the balls, essentially. You could just ask him for money. And again, he had this investment thing, but... Was it was it just a front for this blackmail scheme? Maybe, or maybe it was a little of both. Yeah, maybe he invest the money too, but he's he could keep it all because was it what is the guy gonna do? So I I think the uh, some millionaires are unusually vulnerable to this. Now, if you look at a guy like Trump, he's the rare exception, right? Even though his dad uh, made a lot of the millions, and Trump basically was born rich but he was second generation and he built upon that and he's he's kind of a rough guy and he's kind of a suspicious guy <laughs> and he immediately I think was cued right into Epstein like why is this guy offering me so much stuff like why is this guy being so nice to me kind of thing because Trump's kind of suspicious in that way and he's a bit of an alpha and a shark so uh, it's interesting to note that he is the few, one of the few millionaires who he gave the cop statements and he's been saying stuff about Epstein from the beginning. Like most of the others, they just clam up because they don't want the embarrass, embarrassing connection to Epstein. And some of them probably just blundered into him through other millionaires who they thought were reliable, right? So if you're a millionaire and you meet your millionaire friend and he recommends Epstein, oh yeah, he's a great guy, went to a party with him, he's, he's fun, he's fun. Maybe he's being blackmailed. Maybe it just so happens he went to a party with Epstein and did have fun and nothing crazy happened. But, 
you know, it, 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 I think Epstein was 100% blackmailing everybody he could. And, uh, you know, for a long time, I think that seemed to work for him. He had so much money, so much influence and power that really, I mean, it was just a matter of time before he got everybody lined up to do his bidding, essentially. And then the power he must have had, like, some of the stuff he said made him we even weirder, if you can believe that. Like, apparently had this idea of, you know, seeding the earth with his, uh, you know, children. Like, having sex with so many women and having so many babies that he, he would actually infuse the world with his DNA. I mean, it's messed up. I mean, but it shows you, you know, he, in, in some ways he had this sort of great power over people and... It corrupted him even further, if you can believe that. Just warped him. As if he wasn't warped enough for what he did. Um, so, uh, I, yeah. I, so, which is, leads me to believe why he was killed. I think he, he probably blackmailed the wrong guy who finally said, I'm going to get this guy. He thinks his money can save him, but I got even more money. And mm, he went in there, you know, and just, I mean, you can get at anybody these days. I mean, think about it. No one is safe. If you want to pay enough money, you could get at anybody, even in a facility like that. And now that he's dead, you know, all that remains to be done is to just cover it up. And the longer, the longer, uh, you know, it goes on without any kind of revelation, the more likely it is these people will get away with murdering him. And really, who, who cares? You know, at the end of the day, who cares? You know? If anybody deserved death, it was probably Jeffrey Epstein. And, uh, you know, you're never going to see that evidence because if they have the money to go after Epstein and kill him, they certainly have the money to make evidence disappear, disappear from a locker room or make evidence just disappear. It never gets into the evidence room. You know, the hours and hours of videotape or whatever just all disappears. Uh, it's all destroyed because that's what these people want. That's probably what they wanted more than to see Epstein dead is to see the evidence gone. And with the evidence gone and Epstein dead, they're safe. So, but uh, on to sunnier topics, I hope, because God, what a dark, dark chapter in the history of the world, this guy, Epstein, that he was around so long and getting away with it for so long, just shows you what money can do. You know, when, when you're willing to go to those lengths and willing to go to the mat every single time, then man, your money, as long as you got it, as long as you have an endless supply of money, man, it can, it can protect you for a long, long time. But in the end, it can't completely protect you.